Hi everybody, welcome back to this channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today, for subscribing, liking, commenting, and all your support. I appreciate that so much. If it's your first time, welcome to this channel. And I am Daphne, and I'm pleased to see you today. Please make sure that you subscribe and you click the notifications bell so that you don't miss out when I post a new video. So it's Monday, it's a bank holiday here in England, but um, the work continues for some of us. So, so today's Monday prayer and we want to pray today. I just, I just sense in my heart that a lot of you need a word from God. You need to hear from God. You need, um, almost like direction. You are in a place of transition. And last week we prayed for this month of May and we are believing that this is a month when God is making a way in the wilderness where God is creating rivers in the desert. But sometimes when this word is released, there can be confusion, there can be doubt, there can be worry around you. So it's very important for some of you that you hear a confirmation, a word from God. And this can be prophetic. This can be through scripture. This can be through dreams and visions. This can be uh, just even through somebody speaking to you. It can be through a situation. God speaks in different ways, but he always speaks into our spirit. And our heart is our spirit because our hearts have been made alive in Christ. Our hearts have been transformed in Christ. So he speaks into your heart, which is your spirit, man. And it's important that we trust the voice of God and we can discern when God is speaking in our spirit because this is where the spirit of God lives and dwells in. So today I want to pray with you and I want to believe God with you for a confirmation, for a divine visitation, for divine direction, for a word that will propel you into that place where you can experience the rivers of God, a word that will propel you into your place of purpose. Of course, we are... We are like trees planted by the rivers of water. I understand that because of the Spirit of God. But what I mean is a place where you can drink and be filled. A place where there is an overflow in your life. A place where He can lead you like Psalm chapter 23. Where He leads you beside the still waters and you are sitting in that pasture. This is what we want to believe God for today. And God is able to do that. God is able to speak a word to you. And God is always speaking, but sometimes we cannot hear because of fear, worry, doubt, the noise all around us. So sometimes we cannot hear what God is saying. So when we are praying this kind of prayer, it's also to understand that God is going to silence that noise around you. That God is going to make certain changes in your life in order for you to hear what he is saying in this season of your life. I believe May is very crucial to the next coming months. So we want to pray according to this word in the book of Psalms chapter 32 verse 8. It says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. And I will guide you with my eye. When God says, I will guide you with his eyes, it's speaking of his throne. His throne. It's speaking of how his love for you, how he is your maker, how he's the creator of everything, the heavens and the earth and everything that is in them, how nothing is hidden before him. It's speaking about his throne. And as we know, we are now seated with Christ in the heavenly realms, above powers and rulers. We are now seated with Christ. So we must understand the scripture according to this new covenant. Also, he instructs us now by his spirit and by his word. And so we must be careful to have the word of God in us, even in this very month of May. We must be careful to have the word of God in us in this month of May. There is a specific word that God wants to speak to you in this month of May. Perhaps when you open the scriptures in this coming, in the next coming days, there's a specific word that is going to stick out that God wants you to pay attention to. And this is why we are praying today. So we are going to pray according to this word. How does he instruct us through his word? How does he teach us by his Holy Spirit? How do we know where to go because of the word and the Holy Spirit? And he guide us, guides us by his eye. It's speaking about his sovereignty. He is sovereign. So we want to pray with that understanding of that scripture. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, we bless you. 
Most High God, we acknowledge that you are sovereign. You are God. There is no other God. And we boast in your majesty. We boast in your power. We boast in your name. Because you are God. Oh God. And we come before you, oh God, boldly before your throne. And we ask you, Father, we need a word from you. Your people need a word from you. In this month where you're creating a way in the desert, rivers in the desert, a way in the wilderness, your people need a word, Father. You speak through prophets, you speak through your word, through your, through your Holy Spirit. You speak according to their level of faith. I pray, oh God, that you speak to your people according to their level of faith. Even, even this very day, this very week, mighty God, I pray that they receive the confirmations that they need. Perhaps it's a prayer that they've been asking you for. Father, I pray that you open their eyes, that they may see, oh God, in this very week, in the name of Jesus. You said in your word, Father, that you will instruct us and that you will guide us and that you will show us the way we should go. Oh God, let your word come to pass in their lives this very day, week and month. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I thank you that you hear their cries. Even the cry that has no physical tears, the cry in their hearts that are hidden like Hannah. You hear their cries, you see their needs, you see their worries. Oh God, you are the God that answers. You are the God who sees for nothing is hidden before you and nothing is impossible for you to do. Mighty God, I thank you for the answered prayers. I thank you for the words of confirmation, the words of prophecy the words of wisdom and the words of knowledge that are coming to your people as they have believed and as we have all believed together in unity. Your word says where two or more are gathered, oh God, you are there in the midst. And you, and you say that if two agree, it shall be done. Father, we have agreed together and we thank you that it shall be done for them according to thy word. For you love your people and you protect your people for you have created them in your image according to your likeness father let your will be done in your child's life i pray that this word the word that you have for them oh god that it burns like a fire within them that they will not be confused as they see and as they hear what you have to say in their lives in this very moment in jesus name we pray amen and amen Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. I just want you to know that God has answered. I want you to understand that God has heard. As I was praying, I can hear that God has heard. He has heard. And I want you to be expectant of what He is going to do in your life. Remember that He's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you ask and all you imagine. God is faithful. God loves you. And God cares for you. It's very important that you understand that. So God bless you and I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.